Hey, this is Trip from TripAdvice.com, and I want to welcome you to a little quick presentation here about the worst text messages to send a girl. That's right. I'm going to be showing you one of the main text messages and its variations that you should never, ever, ever, ever send a girl. Okay? You're going to learn that right now. Now, with this, what I want you to know is that there are few exceptions. And the exceptions I will explain in just a minute, but you got to wait to the end of the video for me to explain it. So stick around, okay? All right. So just so you know real quick, if you want to learn more about texting, I got a free guide for you. All you got to do is go to this link right here on the screen so you can get my ultimate guide to texting. And it's on my blog. You don't even have to put your email in. You can just read it right there. So go check it out. One of my favorite blog posts on how to text girls and how to be a master at it. Okay? So let's get into it. What's the worst text message that you could ever send a girl? Here it is. Bum, bum, bum. Hey. Now, do not get off this video. I demand you to not leave because I know you were probably watching this video to wait for the one worst text message, but trust me, there are more to share with you and you need to understand why this is the worst text message to ever send a girl. And you might be cringing right now because you might be like, oh crap, I've sent that before. And let me tell you something, I'm guilty too. I've sent this before and I've sent all the variations, which I'll go over in just a second, on, uh, on this type of text message. Why is it bad? Why is it bad? Well, first of all, it's bad because it is so vague. You're not even calling for a response from her by saying, hey. You're kind of just throwing that out there and hoping for the best, okay? It's like you're going out there and you're trying to fish and you're just kind of putting, you know, any kind of bait that you want on your hook, hoping for the best, but you didn't really do any kind of research on the correct bait to get a bite from the fish. You just kind of threw something out there, all right? And this is an example of that. You said, hey. Now, here's the thing. She might respond to this. It's very possible. She might respond to this. You know, you might be writing in the, in the comments, I've used this before, Trip, and she's definitely responded to me, and this text message is fine. Well, you know what, sir? You have won the lottery, okay? You've won the lottery. Now, here's the thing, because this text message has a few exceptions, and even with these exceptions, I still don't think you can use it. And that is, if you've known the girl for quite some time, for a long time, but even at that point, it's kind of weird just to say, hey, to a girl you've been dating for a long time, or even your girlfriend, you know, why would you say something so bland and generic? You gotta keep things exciting. And that's my next point, is that this is not exciting. This is not exciting. This is not original or exciting. This does not call for her to respond. And what, what is she going to say to this? Hey, also? And then guess what? You're stuck right there with almost nothing to say. And if you have something in mind to say after she says, hey, that, my friend, should have been your original text message. Okay? And also, you're probably thinking, all right, so how did I get this idea? Where did this concept come from? Well, uh, not only from my own brain, but from the book Modern Romance that I've been reading from Aziz Ansari, which by the way is a really great book and I highly recommend it. It's not just funny, but it gives you a lot of great information on, uh, on dating and how it all works in terms of meeting girls and texting and all that stuff. And so one of the things he talks about is that he's looked through so many girls' text messages when he was doing research for the book and he found that so many guys were saying, hey, or hey, period, or hey, or hey, what's going on? Or hey, what's going on? Or sup? Or what's up? Or sup with you, right? Or what's up? Okay, all of these are the same concept. They're boring, they're dull, they're not original, they don't call for a response, they don't make the girl interested in you. You need to stand out. So many guys, and I bet you there's gonna be guys who are listening to this who will still ignore this advice and still use what's up, sup with you, what's up, sup, sup, hey, what's going on, hey, all that stuff. They'll still use it. You need to stick out. You need to stick out from all of these guys and be original, which brings me to like my biggest main point here, and congrats to you if you stuck around and didn't leave uh, once you found out what the worst text message was, because the whole idea behind attraction and getting girls to like you is being the exception and being different from every other guy. 
Okay, you need to stand out. And here's the best part about it. Here's the best part. It's not hard. It's so easy. All you got to do is come up with more interesting text messages or just do something a little bit different from everybody else. Okay, and if you want to learn how to do that, it's very easy. Go to the ultimate guide for texting so you can learn how to stand out, how to be unique, and how to uh, further progress with a girl after you get her number. So go check that out. And if you're still listening, here's what I want you to do. I want to see you write in the comments. Yes, you, the listener. I want you to write in the comments, trip, comma, I understand, period. That's what I want you to write. I want as many as I can possibly see. I want to see trip, comma, I understand, because I really want you to understand this point. I want you to take the time to write that so I get it in your thick skull that these text messages are not good, okay? They are not good. They are the worst. So trip, I understand. Do you understand? I don't know. Let me hear from you in the comments. Go ahead, write that. Get the ultimate guide to texting on my blog. Thanks for listening. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.